In this tutorial, I am going to discuss a programming question binary tree level order traversal 2. Actually, it is binary tree reverse level order traversal. So the problem statement is given a binary tree, we have to return the bottom up level order traversal of its nodes values. And first of all, let's understand what is level order traversal. So in level order traversal, we traverse a binary tree level by level. So we start from this level and we visit all the nodes present at this level then we move to next level and visit all the nodes present at that level then we move to next level and so on and in reverse level order traversal we have to start from this bottom level so we have to start from this last level we we have to visit all the nodes present at this level then we have to move to this level and visit all the nodes present at this level like this so we have to visit all the nodes from left to right level by level from leaf to roots so we have to start in this direction we have to start from bottom then uh, we have to first visit all the nodes of this level then move to next level then next level like this so you can see its output so first we have visited all the nodes of this level so it is 15 and 17 then 9 and 20 and then 3 so this is the output and this is the problem statement and now let's think how we can solve this problem so let's discuss our first approach to solve this problem so in this problem we have to do the reverse level order traversal what it means is we have to traverse this level first then this level and so on so to solve this problem the idea here is to do the level order traversal do the level order traversal and put the node values so at each level we get the list of node values what it means is we get the list of integer values and put them in a stack and after the complete traversal of a binary tree traverse this stack and put the all nodes pop all the values from a stack and put it put it in the final result list so you can visualize like this so let me draw a stack and we do a level order traversal so so at first level we get only one node so we put them in a stack at second level we get two node values so let me put them in a stack and at this level we get again two nodes let's put them in a stack now the traversal is complete traverse this stack and pop all the values from this stack and put them in a result list so imagine this is a result list so when we pop we get first this value this list of integer values so we put them in a list then we get this value so we put them in a list and at last we get this value so when we return the result it is a reverse level order traversal so now now how we can do the level order traversal for this we need additional data structure q so to solve this problem we need two data structure one is a stack and one is q so let's visualize the complete process so let me draw a q imagine this is a q so we start from the root node so initially we put root node in a queue so we put the root node in a queue and then we run this while loop so the condition is while queue is not empty so initially we put one node in a queue so it is not empty then we pop uh, then we check the length of this queue so we have to do the level by level traversal so at each level we get a list of nodes and this list of nodes we put them in a stack which i have already explained so first let me get the size of this queue so the size of this queue is one so i have declared list of integers so that if at this level whatever the node values we get we can store at in this uh, list of integers so we run a loop which is from 0 to length and the length is 1 so we pull this value so let me pull this value we get uh, this node which is initially which we put them in a queue 
so we get this value and we take its value and add them in a uh, this list of integer so we add three now we check is it uh, the left and right children is not null so left is not null so let me add them in a queue and the right children is also not null so we add them in a queue so now we are done with this uh, for loop uh, we have only one element so the size was one so after one traversal we came out of this loop and we pu pushed this level in a stack so in this level we get only one value so we push them in a stack then in next traversal we have two values in this queue so the size we get is two so again we declare this list of integers so for each level we get a list of values and for this we need this list so that's why we are declaring it uh, because we are keeping the node values of each level then we run a loop from 0 to length so this time the length is 2 so we pull this value so first we get this value 9 and for 9 we check is there uh, any left and right children uh, of this node is present so left and right children both are no, uh, null so nothing to enqueue in a queue so uh, in next traversal we pull this value so we uh, we add 9 in a list and in next traversal we get this node value 20 so we get 20 we add 20 in a list and then again we check its left and right children so this node has left and right children so we enqueue them in a queue so let me enqueue them in a queue and after this we came out of this loop and we put this list of value so this level in this variable we get two values 9 and 20 and we push them in a stack at this uh, point and in next traversal again we get the length 2 and we declare uh, the list of integers and we run a loop from 0 to uh, 2 and we poll this so when we poll we dequeue this value so uh, queue is a first and first out data structure the element which we enqueue at first is the first element to be dequeued so we get this 15 we add them in a list and then we check its left and right children so it is null so nothing to be enqueued and in next traversal we uh, we dequeued 7 and again we check its left and so we add them first in a list and then we check uh, their left and right children so both are null so nothing to be enqueued in a queue then after this we came out of this loop and we push these two values in a stack now after that you can see the queue is empty so we came out of this loop and we run a loop while a stack is not empty and then we pop all the values so in a stack we have a stored list of integers so we first this list of integer is popped out and we add them in a final list then this will be popped out and we add them in a final list and then this will be popped out and we add them in a final list so we get uh, this final result list and we return it so this is the one way to solve this problem now let's talk about its time and space complexity so its time complexity is o n we are visiting all uh, all nodes of a binary tree and what about its space complexity so we are using extra space which is by using q and a stack so its a space complexity is also o n now we can use another variations to solve this problem let's see our next approach in our previous approach we have solved this problem using a stack and queue data structure so instead of using a stack what we can do is we can do the level order traversal of this binary tree and uh, put the uh, each level so at each level we get a list of integer values we get 
list of node values and put them in a final result so let me uh, so let us visualize this approach so uh, so first we traverse this level and at this level we get only one value so let me put them in a in this result uh, list so this result will store the list of integer values so at each index it is store list of integer values so at first level we get only three in second level we get two values which is 9 and 20 and at third level we get uh, this 15 and 17 and before returning the result what you can do is you can reverse this list so you can just reverse this re uh, list and when we do the reverse so what we get is so we get this value at this index so we get this value at 0th index and then we get 920 and then we get 3 so in this way we get the reverse level order traversal so i have already explained the level order traversal for this we use q data structure and after uh, so when we first traverse this level so after traversing this level put the result in a uh, result so result variable so result variable is stored at each uh, so at each index it is store list of integer values so put them in a result variable and once we are done with the level order traversal simply reverse this list we get the reverse level order traversal so this is the second way to solve this problem and now let's see the final approach how we can uh, slightly modify uh, this approach to solve this problem in another way so let's discuss our final approach it is the slight variation of the previous approach so what we have to do is we have to do the level order traversal and we have to add the result so the result is list of node values at each level add them at zeroth index so that uh, so let me visualize it so let's visualize it so that you know what happens so first we traverse this level and we get one node value so let them add at zeroth index of this final result list now when we traverse this level we get 9 and 20 so let them so let's add this uh, result list so res uh, list of integer values at zeroth index so what happens when we add them at zeroth index so the previous value which was added at zeroth index move one step move uh, shift one step to the right so it will shift to the right so this one is added at zeroth index now when we do the level or uh, so when we traverse this level we get again the list of integer values which is 15 and 17 so add them at 0th index when we add them at 0th index so 15 and 7 so each values will move one step to the right so 3 will move here and the 9 and 20 so the previous value which was added at 0th index will move at this index so now you can see we get the reverse level order traversal so we have to do the level order traversal which we have discussed in our first approach so i am not going to uh, repeat this so now when at each level we get a list of integer values which i have already explained so simply add them at zeroth index so first this value is added at zeroth index when we get this list of integer values this will shift one step to the right and it is added at zeroth index and when we get this value it is added at zeroth index this will shift one step to the right similarly this one shift one step to the right so we get final this value so at zeroth index we have this list of integer values which is 15 17 then we have this level at first index and then we have this level at this index so this is uh, the slight variation of our previous approach so in this tutorial i have discussed three approaches to solve this problem if you still know any other approach you can let us know through your comment section and that's it for this video tutorial thanks for watching this video tutorial and please don't forget to like and subscribe this video uh, video tutorials thank you for, thank you for watching